Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. Now let's start. First, let's shuffle the deck. I will start with the past first. Uh, what was the main challenge or problem that happened in the past? Feeling unhappy many times, unfortunately, and somebody was not being much, much uh, vulnerable, not expressing feelings, appearing cold, detached, and uh, like there were no feelings. That's what I'm getting with the Knight of Cups and the Sun in the reverse being in the position of the challenge in the past. So causing this, uh, the disagreements, the pro problems there cause many unhappy uh, situations and also this feeling that the love was not, uh, was not real or it was not strong enough to keep the connection going forward. Now what about the current energies. You'd like to put a balance into the situation. It seems like you want to invest somehow again to see if things will progress to a mutual teamwork connection. You overthink a lot and this overthinking causes unnecessary stress and anxiety. Now let's see about what may be affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of. You want a stable, long-term, mature par partner, a partner that can guarantee you a secure, um, long-term connection. That's what uh, that's uh, what keeps your interest again, or that's why you think again about it. Does it have potential to be long-term and stable? Have they matured enough in love to? be more responsible and take charge of the situation and accept uh, uh, any mistakes. Let's see how they view. Not how they view, but uh, how do you see uh, the situation? You are very decisive about the idea of initiating or starting a friendly reunion or friendly collaboration with, uh, with them. What is the overall energy? Both of you have been hurt uh, and don't feel very secure and confident about the situation. That's why there's this tendency to appear very guarded and uh, closed off, but still none of you has given up completely. You do miss this person. You hope that one day you will meet soon with them. You do miss the good old times and you don't like uh, the indecisiveness or them appearing quite um, distant or like ignoring you. You don't like that and you want to have a more clear decision about this past situation. What to do with it, to leave it uh, behind or to try again. But you do miss, yes, you do miss them a lot. Let's see about them now. What are their energies at this moment? Uh, they have this desire to talk. But they are not telling you that. In fact, they are showing you only the silence. They are trying to distract themselves with work and their career. They have this fear that a rapid communication may lead to arguments. This person seems like they are hiding things or not wanting to talk, but they keep an eye on you. They check you maybe on social media to see what's up with your life. So uh, what's up with your life? So they have interest apparently. They want to know or they want to talk um, but not now. 
Let's see, will they change their mind? What are their possible actions for the time frame of this reading? Okay, uh, there are two different parts of them that uh, one part of them thinks it is over completely, it has ended, it cannot be restored as a connection. The other part is finding very difficult to move away and give up and wants to reunite and uh, reconnect with you. So this person is having an inner conflict of energies about wanting to come back and on the other hand not believing there could be anything to re start the relationship because the way it ended uh, it may have ended completely so there's lots of this indecision let's continue in the extended with more details if you want to watch the extended of this video you can find it now in the description box below see you the next reading and bye for now